Spelling. I'm Libby Karen and I'm with Shane Ross. Uh, <laughs> How are you doing today, Shane? Uh, wonderful. I'm loving the city. The festival's been great so far. So you have a stand-up show on the moment later to Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's, um, it, it's a lot of... Um, I, I basically take a lot of evolutionary biology and psychology ideas and then break them down and make them really dumb and simple and then and talk about how um, animals it, it kind of can teach us a lot about relationships and, um, and, and just the way that we interact with one another and, and basic, my show's about how ladies are in charge, uh, <laughs> essentially. Good going, so, okay, but <laughs> so, yeah. that's a good start. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's also about, and, and, you know, and then also, because ladies don't always know that, they always don't do the best job of telling us guys exactly what they want, so ladies will sometimes go, oh, I gave him a coy smile across the room, then I looked away. Why didn't you know that I wanted them? Because the last time that happened to us, we got the cops calling on us. We have no idea what's going on, you know. So it's, a, it's kind of about how how dopey dudes are, and um, and, and then it's it's some fun. There's some personal stories and stuff too. So, so you're a bit of an agony aunt, would you say? Yeah, a little bit. Um, but but I I don't know. This is my first time actually doing like a solo show kind of thing. I headline in the U.S. and and for most of my career, it's just been a lot of here's a joke, now here's a different joke, now here's another joke, um, and so this is my first time putting together uh, a well-structured full show that has a theme and everything. I ended up going to college just to like help write the show, and I you went to college to help write the show. Well, I reached out to scientists once I started learning about this stuff, and I now go into classes and stuff in UCLA and sometimes help out with uh, some of their classes and help make the kids laugh so they'll remember some of the material. I did, I did actually read that you, um, you told dick jokes to avoid college, uh, yeah, and then yeah. you ended up going to college just yeah, for that, yeah. that reason. Yeah. So was that a pretty big change, kind of coming back to education? Yeah, well, I was never, I never paid attention in school or anything, but then I found out that uh, that there was ways that could help me um, get laid more, essentially, uh, through science, and so I was like, well, maybe science does have something to offer me, and, um, and so... Your kids, make sure you take note of your science classes. Yeah, exactly. My show, I'm hoping, more than anything, that I'm helping people get laid. I think it's a, a fun show for couples and a good date night kind of show. And I come in and I tell some goofy jokes about sex, and, and it's kind of a fun, uplifting show, I think. Have you got any success stories? Any people who come along to your show and they fall mad in love, got married? Um, not exactly. But I do, <laughs> this is going to be so out of context and so ridiculous. And not that it's any less ridiculous in my show, but I talk about um, a goofy thing I do around the house with my girlfriend where sometimes I talk into her butt and <laughs> <laughs> just for a joke, and I have seen people write me afterwards, and they're like, yeah, yeah, I screamed into her butt last night. She didn't really care for it very much. Where did you so, get this, this piece of information? Where did you find oh, that, that is not, that came from within. That was not, I didn't read that in a textbook. That was just me goofing around, having a bit of fun with my girlfriend. Sometimes I'll, like, put my junk in a wine glass or something like that, just to, just to get a little laugh around the house, take a little picture of it. That's fun. How can you not have fun with that? Okay. Um, so you've done, you've done a lot of... <laughs> I feel like that maybe threw you off a little bit. Oh, <laughs> drunk in a wine glass. I was just going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you've read my questions in advance. <laughs> so you've done, you've done stand-up um, and shows in America. Yeah. You've been in Sydney and now you're in Edinburgh. Um, how does humor change? Yeah, um, well, it doesn't that much, although... I'd say probably, um, how does it change? Here, I would say, I, I like opening with um, some local stuff about just the UK and stuff, because it, for whatever reason, I feel like just people latch onto that a little more.
you can see mating seasons on at um, assembly at 10:30 p.m. all the way until the 26th of August. Uh, we've got to hear from our sponsors a bottle of St. Mungo's. Oh, so I, I, I don't get to drink it now? I'll, I'll get you a bottle later. I'll go get you. Oh, all right, perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.